And on the flip side here, things are all quiet. We are tracking a storm system, though, that's going to help close out the week. But the good news is it's going to be a weak system, not expecting a lot of rain out of it, and it should move out just in time for the weekend. So if you have any weekend plans, it will be a little cooler, but still looks like it's going to be just fine. So let's start things off with the radar tonight. We are dry. And it looks like it'll be another crisp and cold night here across the area. So temperatures again dropping to around 30 degrees for many locations, some upper 20s in some spots. But as you'll notice throughout the day Thursday, we'll start the morning off with a couple of peaks of sunshine. Then the clouds are going to start rolling in by midday. We do expect thick cloud cover during the afternoon and evening hours with a chance for some showers. It's going to be a very small chance, very widely scattered showers across the area. We're going to have some chances for rain for morning hours on Friday. Then the afternoon is going to dry out. It'll turn breezy. Looks like temperatures, though, on Friday stay into the uh, mid 50s. But then by the time we head towards the weekend, things will get be getting a little bit cooler. 32 right now for Elkton, up towards Cecilton. Same story. Columbia, 33 degrees. Same thing for Sykesville, down towards Annapolis, at 39 degrees with a southeast wind at about five to ten miles per hour. Again, temps tonight ranging anywhere from the upper 20s to the low to mid 30s. Right now, the Inner Harbor. And areas inside the Beltway will likely see the warmest temperatures, and of course, some of those outlying colder areas, particularly across northeast Maryland and the upper eastern shore, dropping into the upper 20s. We're starting to see the clouds, though, increasing from the west. You can see some of these showers that are trying to creep into Ohio and Indiana. Those showers are going to try to make their way into our region here by tomorrow afternoon, as future cast shows. Skies becoming mostly cloudy through the afternoon. Chance for a few of those showers, particularly up near the Pennsylvania border tomorrow afternoon. Otherwise, again, high temperatures reaching the low 50s. And then we've got chances for rain overnight, tomorrow night, and into Friday morning. But here comes the front as it pushes through. Should come through around noon on Friday, and that'll take the rain chances with it. And the winds will pick up behind the front, so we'll be getting a little bit cooler here for Friday night, Saturday afternoon, and then especially for Saturday night. That's we're going to see temperatures drop back into the middle 20s here across the area. But you can see how the chances for rain stay fairly low, even though they do pick up a little bit here as we go into the afternoon. So here's your first alert, seven-day forecast, 52 tomorrow. Pa chance for a passing evening shower, but it looks like we'll see those continuing chances for scattered showers Thursday night and into Friday morning. High of 56 on Friday, head of that cold front, down to 42 for a high on Saturday, but the sunshine is going to try to return, particularly during the afternoon, sunny for Sunday. But look at next week. We start to warm back up. We're likely going to hit 70 by next Wednesday with chances for rain as early as Tuesday afternoon. Back to you. All right, Derek, thank you. For more first alert weather and updated news, check in with Cena Gabrab, Tim Williams, and Meg McNamara tomorrow morning on WJZ starting at 4 30.